Hey guys, it's been a while since I've been out here with you, but uh, I am out here on Grand Lake today with one of my good friends, Jerry Croft, and we are catching some crappie on Go Go Minnows. Uh, I'm getting ready to turn the uh, uh, camera back around. The sun is so bright I can't hardly stand it, but um, anyway, I just wanted to talk to you about the pattern that we're fishing, what we're doing, and uh, Jerry is one of the best crappie fishermen I know and he asked me to come out here today he said he was in some schooling uh, late summer early fall crappie as the water cools down and uh, we're gonna see if we can we can get one um, let me get this camera turned around Jerry we already got 11 people fishing in the boat with us Oh really? yep see if I can get this turned around so uh, guys what we're doing here is we are fishing uh, along the bluff. Um, oh, there's one right there. He's not a very big one. We're fishing along a bluff, and um, what's going on is right out in here we got a big drop off, and we got some trees laying on that drop off right there, and um, we're casting that go go minnow out into those trees. We're just letting that gogo -go minnow kind of fall real slow down through those crappie and it's it's pretty windy out here it's kind of hard to do this live video and it's getting hard to uh, feel the bites but um i i got i got confidence jerry's gonna crank a few in uh we haven't been catching a lot of keepers here on grand lake i think we've we've been fishing for about two hours and i think we've got about 12 keepers in the box but uh, I'll talk a little bit more about what we're doing now. Um, this time of year, if you can find some cover on a drop-off like what we have right here, we've got a big, long bluff. And if you can find some cover along the bluff, sometimes um, those crappie will stack up on the edges of that. And you just got to run that go-go mental really, really slow. And um, they'll, they'll run out of there and smack it. It's not hard. You just need to use, learn how to use your electronics and uh, you got to wade through a bunch of little fish to get to some keepers but nonetheless I'll, I'll walk you back here and show you uh, what we've been catching there's the keepers in there them look at them big nice fat rascals there's a lot of you guys out there that would love to have a big mess crappie like that I don't know how many we got in there quite a few Got another one, Jerry? Yeah. I'm gonna get over here where I can see it. So how many of these little guys you gotta catch, Jerry, before we get into we get the keepers? About twelve. <laughs> <laughs> Let me see what you're using. Now he's got the uh the little bitty uh got that tail. There we go. He got the little bitty gogomento on there, the, the two inch one, little jig head. And then Jerry, why do you like to use them uh, uh, sinkers? So I can keep my line tight, especially the wind's blowing like it is now. Yeah. There'd be such a bag on your line tight, you couldn't tell where you're at. Right. Another little guy. Jerry, is this a pattern that people can do pretty much year round? Or uh, from season to season, do the, the crappie get like this every fall? Yeah, yeah, they'll stay like this all winter if the water don't get muddy. Okay, if the water gets muddy, then it just gets pretty tough? Yeah, it gets tougher. Yeah? yeah. Okay, well, Jerry's using about a, what is that, about a seven foot rod? Yeah. You got a seven foot rod. What pound line you got on there? Eight. Eight pound line, and, and boy, we got into a slug of the a slug of them that size, and and he's just uh, he got a quantum rod and reel, and uh, anyway, he's just cranking that in real slow, and like I said, right out here, um, man, I can't see that thing. My screen's got crappie slime on it, y'all. Um, right out in here where he's casting, there's just a little little piece of brush. And I can tell you, them little suckers are flat eating that go go minnow up right now. <laughs> They're wearing it out. I got a bigger go go minnow on my pole back here, but I can't fish at the same time and run this video camera. But I'll, I'll put on a big one here in a minute. That's okay. Jerry, we got 76 people in the boat with us right now. Oh, boy. 
79 people, 80 people. So they, uh, they're ready to go crappie <laughs> fishing today. Look at that. Well, now that's a good trick. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> Whenever you have it, pick up another rod. Well, guys, I'm not going to keep the video running for a long time. I just wanted to kind of explain to you what we're doing. There's a lot of people that watch us uh, do our crappie fishing in the springtime. And I tell you what, if you like the crappie fish, you need to come back out here in the fall and the late summer. And you need to get in on some of this because uh, this is some good fishing. Now, this is a big one here, Jeff. That's a big one. Now I mean, we got that's the, a big uh, bait. Yeah, we got the two and a half inch uh, chartreuse on there, and he's got the uh, we got a roadrunner head on that. So a lot of you guys know it, but we've got the uh, Go Go Runners coming out this year, and uh, that's an unpainted head, Jerry. How long you been fishing with roadrunner heads? Oh, a few years. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't use them all the time. Well, we're going to have the Go Go Runners coming out this year. I can't wait to do some more videos with that. And and we'll have lots of good colors of Go Go Runners. Lots of stuff for for people to fish with. And there are so many people that like Road Runners and so many people that like Go Go Minnows that we partnered up with our friends at TTI Blakemore to create the Go Go Runner. But uh, I'm going to go back over here and show you what this fish locator looked like. Stick with me guys. Now we're rolling into the crappie right now, okay? Jerry's got another one. And the back of the boat is just swinging into them giant schools of crappie. And uh, got a big ball of bait right up there. But the back of the boat swinging into the brush and into the crappie. And um, that's, that's just kinda, kinda what we're doing. There's the phone. It doesn't usually doesn't take very long to once you start the live video to get phone calls. It always happens whether I'm doing team catfish or doing flea fly or whatever. Um, we got people always calling. So um, guys, I'm, I'm having a hard time seeing the questions. Um, I, I I know that um, there's people asking questions. There's another crappie right there. He's almost a keeper. He might he might make it, but I'm gonna get back to fishing. I'm gonna get back to the go-go minnow. This is what I'm using I'm using the same color as Jerry's using but I'm using the uh, uh, Two and a half inch with an eighth ounce uh, big eye head and uh, I'm using a six foot six Spinning rod with a Zebco or quantum spinning reel uh, Size 10 spinning reel and that's a nanofill uh, line on that so that's what we're using I don't know how many how many we caught already today Jerry or oh, at least a hundred I think we've caught a hundred well you catch about 10 or 12 before you get a keeper and we got about 12 keepers probably yeah <laughs> all right well guys again um, that's our pattern what is our water temperature water temperature is 80 degrees it's starting to cool off the lake was about well, there's even a bluegill on the go-go minnow. Um, the lake was about 94 degrees, so we're getting a few, few cooler nights and, and uh, get out here and enjoy this uh, late summer uh, crappie fishing. Find you a bluff, find you some, some drop-offs, and find you some cover in it, and uh, pitch that go-go minnow out over it, let it fall and reel it really, really slow. And I think you're gonna get one just like Jerry did right there, so. If there's any doubt about the go-go minnows catching <laughs> crappie, there shouldn't be after that video, guys. We appreciate you watching. Come see us at fleafly.com.